stress and how we have to look at stress, okay? And I think it's an important thing because uh, many people have told me from my lectures it's the one thing they remember, okay? And I was sitting in a dentist's office and looked at an article that said, how do lobsters grow? Well, I don't care how lobsters grow. But I was interested in it. And it points out that a lobster is a soft, mushy animal that lives inside of a rigid shell. That rigid shell does not expand. Well, how can the lobster grow? Well, as the lobster grows, that shell becomes very confining. Right? And the, kind of, the lobster feels itself under pressure and uncomfortable. It goes under a rock formation to protect itself from predatory fish, casts off the shell, and produces a new one. Well, eventually, that shell becomes very uncomfortable as it grows, right? Back under the rocks. And the lobster repeats this numerous times. The stimulus for the lobster to be able to grow is that it feels uncomfortable. Right? Now, if lobsters had doctors, they would never grow. Because as soon as the lobster feels uncomfortable, goes to the doctor, gets a Valium, gets a Percocet, feels fine. Never comes off its shell. So I think that we have to realize is that we have to realize that times of stress are also times that are signals for growth. And if we use adversity properly, we can grow through adversity.